To understand more about writing, we have to go back in time, even farther back in time than my barn, although that is pretty ancient and decrepit itself. Before I can start working on a carving, I have to prepare the wood, which in this case involves taking a nice piece of maple and making it a lot nicer, cutting it and sanding it a great deal. For most of its existence, writing has been a high-value, high-investment, high-skill art that required far more preparation than we imagine. Papyrus, for example, had to be peeled, cut into strips, soaked, layered, glued, hammered, dried, and polished. What I'm preparing is wood, but as with all writing media, the act of preparing it is part of the act of writing itself. When you prepare the medium, you prepare the mind. The raw wood is very much like the unfocused mind, too much randomness, not enough clarity. It looks dark because of the way the light falling on it is broken up, the saw cuts going every which way. The measuring and cutting is an act of focus. Writing requires the same act of attention, reduction, homing in on what we're trying to say. One basic rule of both carving and writing, you can't tackle everything. In its natural state, the wood is huge, the mind almost infinitely broad and complex. Cutting is an act of purpose, of intent. What are the dimensions of my subject? These are the questions that in 40 years as a writer, in some ways I ask myself all the time, and in other ways I never thought about at all. Next time, sanding.